Sayulita is one of Mexico's most popular beach destinations. But it's a little bit different than we expected. Welcome back, we're Eric and Sarah, and we've been traveling through Mexico for the past few months, so if you want to see more Mexico content, then subscribe and check out our other videos. We've actually been to Sayulita before, but that was before our YouTube <laughs> days, so it has changed quite a bit, so today we're gonna be taking you along as we explore this laid back town and decide whether it is worth it for you to visit. This is something that we've never actually seen before. These guys are re-roofing the roof. <laughs> How do you say that, Sarah? <laughs> I have no idea what, what that's they're doing. Called. They're like re-putting all like the, the palm fronds on the roof. It's so interesting. <laughs> so cool. We've got our smoothies. <laughs> Definitely one of the best parts about Mexico in general is that there's just always smoothies available and always so, so fresh. Mm -hmm. And that's also one of the best things about Sayulita is that there's a lot of different places that offer like smoothie bowls and there's lots of cafes and actually just a lot of restaurants in general. Totally, and a big emphasis on like health and wellness. Totally. There's tons of yoga and like you said, health foods mm -hmm. places, obviously a lot of surfing. Right. So if that's your kind of thing, Sayulita is definitely the place for you. <laughs> Just in case you don't know, Sayulita is located about an hour north of Puerto Vallarta on the Pacific coast of Mexico, and it's very well known for surfing. This is actually where I caught my very first wave when I was about 15 years old. Uh, so it's been really cool to come back here, but it's actually very easy to come here by bus, even just for a day trip. But we also have been staying here for a week and it is also a very good option. Real quick, if you're looking for the easiest way to plan your own trip to Sayulita, then you definitely need to check out the link in the description for thatch.co. Thatch is a free to use platform full of travel guides and resources from trusted travel creators from around the world to help you plan your next trip. We are so excited to show you this platform because we've already been using this for months and it's been a game changer for us when we're planning our travels. Typically, we're spending anywhere between 60 and 100 hours just researching our destinations and things to do in those places. So unlocking these guides has helped us effortlessly plan for our upcoming trips. From food tours to full itineraries, that just makes it easy to visualize and customize your own trip. Let me show you. Let's say you're going to Puerto Vallarta. You can check out many different guides from trusted travel creators. This one looks nice. And now you have first-hand information from people who have been there and, my personal favorite, a travel map. I can now customize this for my own guide and I can even open it up on my phone and get it to take me where I need to go via my Maps app, which is pretty slick. It's seriously so useful for any type of trip, plus you can book it and access it all from within the Thatch mobile app. So whether you're traveling to Sayulita or really anywhere else in the world, you definitely need to check out thatch.co and sign up for free to start browsing all the incredible guides available to you. So one of the first things you'll notice if you come to Sayulita is how bright and colorful it is. There's a huge Sayulita sign that everyone loves taking photos with. The whole central plaza, which is where we are here, is all pink and purple. There's flags everywhere in the streets. It's just really, yeah, I don't know, Instagram central, but it is just a really fun place to come and walk around because there's lots of really picturesque places. I love that term, Instagram central, it's awesome. <laughs> That's what it is. Baby. We're talking changes to Sayulita. Since I've been here when I was 15, things have changed quite a bit as far as how many people are here. There are tons and tons of people. This beach is now lined up with full umbrellas the entire way. And it's just different. I wouldn't say that it's necessarily a bad thing, but it is definitely a lot, a lot more crowded, especially on the main beach. One thing I will say though, is that it's very interesting that Sayulita still very much operates as a fishing town as well. There's on this side of the beach, there are just tons of fishing boats and actually a lot of people just coming and going in their fishing boats. 
it's really really interesting and just to see like the contrast between like a very touristy town but also very much operating in like the fishing trade it's very cool <laughs> that was so cool. <laughs> I love watching that. So Sayulita's main claim to fame is their surfing. And as you can see, it's a very popular activity here. We haven't actually been out yet, but it does seem like there's a good variety of waves for kind of all levels of surfing, which is awesome. But it is so busy. There's a bunch of people out there just, and it looks like they're just kind of like falling all over each other. So definitely not really our favorite style of surfing because we're not that good and we don't like having to you know avoid everyone and try not to hurt someone but if you are maybe more advanced or just like confident in your surfing skills it's definitely a cool place to come it looks like everyone's having a great time but just maybe not quite our thing <laughs> there's definitely some like rocky places here but if i was a kid this is where i would spend all of my time just checking out <laughs> these rocks and looking for crabs and just chilling by the ocean, it's awesome. What are you talking about? You do that now. I know, but even though you're not I a know, kid. I'm just yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Two seconds later. So because we don't like people, <laughs> we love people. We don't like crowds. We often walk to the north end of Salida Beach. It's a lot more relaxed. There's a lot more space to lounge. There's less people selling you things. So it's definitely a great alternative if you're looking for just like a little bit of a quieter area. It's only like about a 10 minute walk down the beach or through town to get here. Or there's actually quite a few little other beaches around Sailita. So we're gonna head to one of those later and we'll show you what it's like there. like I say this every time we come to any town in Mexico is that you definitely need to go to the local markets and just look at the souvenirs that you can buy they're so beautiful so colorful and I feel like I just always appreciate like the the special like specialty Mexican art like it's just the colors are all just so so beautiful I love it uh, but we're here at what they call the hippie market <laughs> which I just love that name but it is just so, so cool. Yeah. And a lot of the stuff is like handmade too, which is great. It's very cool. Great place to come and support the locals. That's right. One thing that I would love to do here is get a golf cart. I, uh, there's no really point for us to do it around here because we can just walk everywhere, but it would, it would be so much fun. It looks so much fun. Comment if you want us to get a golf cart next time we come to Segulita. <laughs> Muertos Beach and it's only just a short walk from town but it is immediately more peaceful than the main beach in Sayulita. Uh. Nice and chill. best things about Sayulita is you can chase the sunsets from one beach to another so we're headed to a new beach right now and honestly even just the walk is so beautiful right now it's so peaceful in here and I just yeah I love it totally but you can also tell that we are definitely here in the dry season everything yeah. is covered in a layer of dust That's on this true. walk <laughs> and uh, yeah it's just the time of year so you should just comment below if you think we should come back to Sayulita during the wet season <laughs> Wow, this is amazing. I will say this is a little bit more of a hike than we were expecting, but it's definitely not hard. It's just, we didn't give ourselves a lot of time. So kind of hauling up and down the mountain, but this looks so beautiful. Wow. Wow. OK, 
Okay, now this is absolutely lovely. Look at this right now. This is so, so nice. This is a beautiful beach. Wow, this is incredible. I love this. You? I like it. Glad we came. Good, good spot. Good sunset spot. I was really hoping to swim here, but the waves are looking a little too big. And yeah. if you do come to Sayulita, please be really careful if you swim. There are can be some really crazy waves and a lot of undertow, so just be really careful and really aware of your abilities because the waves do change a lot throughout the day, so. Yeah. Definitely. But this is really lovely. We've done this in just about every single video in Mexico, but we got some tacos because I, I am not apologetic at all. Like when you come to Mexico, have the authentic Al Pastor tacos. They're just the best. They're so good. We're addicted. There's so many good restaurants here in Sayulita, but we honestly yeah. have opted for tacos every single time. Totally. So yeah, exactly. no regrets. Yeah. Once you come out at night here in Sayulita, it's super fun. Like there's lots of nightlife going on. Like there's clubs, there's bars, there's music all over. Uh, we actually had to come into the center so that we couldn't hear the music. <laughs> it's really, really fun here. Definitely lots of things to do at night. As far as whether it's worth it to come to Sayulita, I would say it hasn't been our favorite place we've been in Mexico just right. because, I mean, maybe we're getting old, but we don't really love crowds and we don't really, we're not really nightlife yeah. people. But yeah. I can understand that if you are like a solo traveler, there's so many people you can meet yeah. here. If you're a digital nomad, there's so many co-working spaces. If you are just here for a vacation and you just want to like surf and party and have a good time, it's a great place to come. Yeah, absolutely. It, it is different and it's getting, it's definitely getting busier, but I would definitely say it's still worth it to come to Sayulita. Yeah. It's beautiful. So thank you so much for watching. And if you like other Mexico videos, just uh, hit down a like and subscribe, I guess. <laughs> and we'll see you in the next one. Yeah. Bye.